well, the pandemic hit the u s. really hard, and no one could have predicted what life would be like as the coronavirus spread across the globe our lives were turned upside down major cities and rural towns came to a screeching halt forever changing the way we interact pushing the pause button on life left many of us feeling isolated and disconnected while others are embracing the silver lining of quarantine slowing down their hectic lives spending more quality time with family realizing what's really important in life they claim the pandemic has changed the way they act and think for the better well now that we are slowly starting to emerge from lockdown is there a silver lining in the cloud of isolation and what positive effects felt during quarantine do we want to bring into our new normal well here with us is dr judy ho author of stop self-sabotage and she has her own podcast, Supercharged Life with Dr. Judy. Now, Dr. Judy, how has quarantine affected the way we live, our communities? You know, what's going on with all that? Hey, Dr. Ian. Well, you know what? There are some silver linings to embrace, believe it or not, about what has been occurring all around the world. And I think one of the biggest silver linings is that there's this creation of smaller, more tight-knit communities that are thinking more along the lines of the greater good, what the community needs. It's not all about me, me, me anymore. And this is a concept that we call collectivism. And actually, a lot of other countries around the world already embrace these values. But in America, we're much more individualistic. But the collectivistic values are so important because when somebody is physically ill or they're struggling with mental health symptoms, the community notices quicker and urges the person to get help right away. And that's so important right now as we're still struggling with some of the actual realities of the pandemic. Yeah, you know, Judy, when you talk about this collectivism, it reminds me of going, when I went to Japan, I, I felt like it was all about the community. It was less about the individual and about the greater good uh, for the entire community. But let's kind of drill down personally. So how have people's habits changed during quarantine? First of all, in the first couple of months, I think people were really confused and really frustrated because, you know, usually human bodies were in motion. We're moving from place to place. All of a sudden, everybody was sequestered. And you had to find time to make your own routines. And this was a struggle for a lot of people. But over time, I think people got pretty good with it. You know, so they would get up in the morning, hopefully at a reasonable hour. They would get dressed. These are really important things, just basic things that our brain needs to feel soothed and calm. Um, and also, because they were more compressed within the home, doing everything in one place, they had to carve out where they were going to work, where they were going to teach their children, where they were going to play. And all of these things were actually very, very good for the human mind to feel like a sense of control when there is so many unknowns out there. 